Hello everyone, hope you're all healthy and safe and you're all doing good. Today we want to review steps for uh, using shortcuts. I want to go uh, through it step by step to have a full review for all of you. And then we're going to review the health history and post-treatment forms that needs to be checked or filled uh, by us or some of them with uh, help of our clients. And just a quick note that you can practice all of these steps on your smartphone, laptops, and uh, tablets if you have access to any of those at your home. So to do so, to uh, practice at home, you just need to type in shortcuts.net shortcuts.net and it will direct you to this home page. From here, you need to tap on the link support and go down to logins. Click on logins. It will direct you to this home page. This is the page that if you have access to iPads, which we have in locations, if you tap on an icon, which is on your home screen iPad, if you uh, press on the icon, it will bring you to this page directly. So now we need to scroll down, look at the screen icon. It says uh, shortcuts console, and then you can press login. You would use your credentials over here, your username and your password. You need to remember these two. It is too important to remember them because it's not only you who are going to use the iPad. So between the clients, some of you may need to come out of the uh, your logs. So you have to log out and then some other may need to use the iPad. So you have to remember these two the username and the password to easily uh, switch between your users, okay? So have type in your username, type in your password, and then press login. Then you will be directed to this web page. To make sure that it is your home page, you can check your name over here. This is my page. And then after that, uh, we don't really do anything with any of these things. The only place that we want to go right now is here, anywhere. So we click on anywhere. If you work in more than one location, you probably will see different locations over here. You need to just find your location and click on the location that you are working on that day. So Wednesdays are usually my days at Rosedale. So I'm going to click on my location. If you only work in one location, you don't need to deal with this web page. It's going to directly uh, brings you to this page. So as I'm here on my Wednesday schedule, you can see if I scroll down, I have one, two, three, four clients, which I'm going to do uh, advanced medical aesthetic treatments, which needs me to do some stuff on my iPad. So usually when you uh, click on your client's name, it will give you a client history. So you can click on that. And then it will ask you for your code. This pin code is the, the same one that you use when you want to clock in to the location and to make sure that if your client have any other history in any other location you can click on this one as well and then you will see the history of your client so if the client was here before for any of those advanced treatments or not you can see it here so as i can see in my health history as i scroll down i can see that i have uh my health uh my form my consent form and also my satellite treatment form, as well as my history form filled before. So I don't need to ask my client anymore to fill uh, the consent form for me or the satellite consent form for me. Uh, but I want to check with her the health history form. So if I click on the health history form, it will bring the form up. To me and then i will ask my client if there is any change to their health history 
between now and the first time that they filled out the health history. If not, that's fine. If uh, it is, it does need to uh, be uh, updated, then we have to go uh, to her file to update the form. So we click on anywhere again. We are on a home page. My next client is Nella. Again, I'm going to click on Nella. No, I didn't want it to come here. <laughs> Nella, yes. Let's just see if Nella had ever filled any form for us. Let me see. No, she does not have any form for us. So if you want to get access to form, we also can check over here to make sure there is no form history. There is no form history. So now we want to have access to forms to fill out, for example, a health history for Nella. We would say client search. As we go to this area, you can see all the clients for that day who's going to come in for getting their services. Uh, if you scroll down, you will see Nella's name over here. If you remember, I had two other clients for the rest of the day for medical uh, services, but it doesn't show it over here. So if you want to prepare for your client and you know no one else gonna use that iPad and you wanna just have the page ready for you as your client arrive, you have to simply type their name over here. So my next client after Nella is Luda. For example, I'm just going to type her name and then it will bring Luda Klevinska, never visited before. And then I know that I need to go to client mode to have access to all of these forms. So whenever she comes, I want her to fill out the health history form. So I just simply click on this whenever she comes and then if we end up doing any services, I need to have a consent form from her for that treatment. So she she is going to be in, for example, for sculpture. So I need her to fill out and sign the consent form for sculpture. This is the consent form. They have to read through all these uh, information up here to be aware of them and then consent and then again press 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 whatever is here that needs to be answered it's uh you can uh it is like noticeable with a red star so they know that they have to answer these uh points that have red stars so uh all of these needs to be filled out and then the client would do a signature and then as they press done it will direct them to the security pin page again. So as they see this pin screen, they have to hand it back to you and then you will log in with your information again. And then you scroll down again to find to have them and then to look at their uh, health history. So right now, let's go to myself. I was the next client for the day for the time 115 right now I want to go to client mode over here I can check when was the last time that the health history was completed it was on September 17 uh, if there is a we will just ask the client if there is any change on health history uh, that they need to uh, put put it in the form and if not it's all fine so you just can keep it like this and if they need to change it you can click on this go to the page and change the data and then today I'm here for sculpture treatment so I need to go to the sculpture consent form I need to read through all of this and then I say yes Yes, yes, yes. My name and last name will be appear automatically over here. Uh, 
yes today and this is my signature for example done this is the time that your ipad will show this screen page it means that your client needs to give it back to you you will press your uh, code and then now you can see the field form which you're gonna look at it if everything is okay then you will accept it now you know you have the proper form for uh, body sculpting it is the same for every other uh, consent form okay if I need to fill any other form again I will go here to fill it or uh, here if I want to do uh, after treatment records let's just do let's see what we can do mm. No consent, no consent, you guess consultation. Okay, for example, if I had done a pickle treatment for someone and now I want to fill out uh, the form after my treatment to record my uh, information, the client information that I did the service. Uh, this is diagnosis, I have to change, this is not diagnosis. Okay, this is diagnosis, whatever you, uh, diagnose on the client's face you have to put it over here if it is for deep wrinkle if it is for melasma hyperpigmentation rejuvenation collagen boosting whatever you feel that needs to be done that you diagnose it needs to be here and then if there is any comments for example it's a partial hyperpigmentation treatment like only some dots on forehead you want to locate the, the those spots not to forget and then to have a track okay where was the hyperpigmentation and if they develop a new hyperpigmentation then you would know so you can put your comments over here whatever note that you want to have and to remember next time you can put it over here and then whenever you perform the service the service provider your name gonna be over here the treatment date the treated area if it is on face if it is only on forehead full face neck if it is on body area hand uh, i don't know back for removing skin tags uh, whatever it is uh, actually we don't remove skin tags with pico don't mix that up i'm just like saying whatever you do on what part of the body you can just like put it that area over here the hand piece and spot size that you used with Pico, you will put it over here, you will write it over here. And the jewels and uh, the rate, uh, you will put it here. And then number of pulses, and this is, this is an important one. And if you use any booth for tattoo removal, again, you can put, uh, you can put it over here to uh, inform next person who's going to do the service maybe. Uh, to know that you did, you did a boost, you did use the boost. And then this is for the next treatment. So treatment by treatment, you can have this form, okay? You can fill and then you can uh, press done. If you press done, it will direct you to this page because it was employee mode. After the treatment, if there is any need to upload photo, like if you have before, photos from your client you just go to photos and then click on add photos today I'm gonna let's just go to my desktop I'm gonna add this to my this is not a before but I just want you to know that if you add anything it can come up so after your treatments you can take a picture and then also upload another picture over here for the after and then you can do select and then compare the photos with each other for example if you want to show your clients before and after how it happened usually we would want to show our clients before and after before you would take from the beginning session like before you do any treatment and then after it's best to do it after three, three to four sessions so you can 
see a significant difference and then put it together and then show it to clients. So that's this. Let's just delete this one. We don't want it to stay there. And that's all about this. Okay. So right now, you know how to add photos to your client. You know where to go to get the health history form. You know where to go to fill out uh, uh, other uh, post-treatment form, post-treatment record form. Uh, also, you know where to have the consent form and how to use it and why it does bring up that, that pin, uh, that pin uh, security pin page. It's just like the time that your client needs to hand in the iPad to you. And then you have to get in and then review all the forms and histories that they put in. And then uh, if it is acceptable by you, if you confirm it, it means that it's all good to do and go and provide the service. So all the history forms, let's go again to myself okay all the health history forms needs to be done prior providing any services when you're doing a medical treatments even just like a tiny skin tag removal they need to have a health history form and if they don't and you do provide the service and then there will be any contraindication that's then you are on charge for any any uh side effect that it was it is there because we didn't pay attention to the health history form. So health history is really important and we need to pay attention to all the details there uh, and also to pay attention to what treatment we are doing and what are the contraindications for that treatment. The consent form as well is really important for every treatment that you're doing there are possible side effects that clients need to be aware of and then they need to uh, give you consent to provide that service for them and then they uh, actually it is a release form basically for the institution that if anything happened out of like a side effect they knew about it and then it's uh, it's not uh, on our uh, shoulder so we don't uh, we are not actually charged for those side effects because these are the probable like side effects that they can get. Okay, so you have different forms over here. You can go over it, you can take a look. I don't recommend the temperature treatment record for now because it's a bit complicated. I still need to see how I can deal with it. It's just like so limited right now. It's not completed. So do not maybe try this one. The temperature is not the correct one, but the rest you can go and explore. You can play with this. You can book yourself. You can book a uh, like health uh, look, book a consultation. Go through the health history. Go through the consent form and stuff like that to uh, remember all these steps. So as I told you, you can just see if you scroll down when you're on a client search, you can see just to limited number of clients over here to the limited time frame. Now I have another client. If we go here, sorry, anywhere. Ooh. Here, if we go here, I want to see Makbula uh, profile over there. So I go to my client information again. I cannot see her here, so I will put her name. This is the profile that I want. I would want to go to client mode to see what was the forms that have been completed and then the expiration dates. So I can see that she has the consent form for laser treatment. So when it is a laser treatment, it means that it is laser hair removal. And then also health history on September 17, which is good. 
So from this form, I can say that she's with us for laser treatments. We know that we do not record laser treatments history on this page because the machine that we have, it will record the treatments uh, uh, information by itself and we don't need to do anything uh, to re uh, record any uh, treatment uh, for our clients when they do hair laser removal and everything is good so whenever she comes in i will just simply ask if there is any change on her health history and then if there is nothing then i'm good to go to perform the service i will go to my room and then look at the uh, treatment history over there with the machine okay mm, one more way that you can check how many sessions she was here you can click on a name of your client if it does click oh. let's try one more time No. It seems that I cannot get the client history right now. Let's just try one more time. No, it's not working right now. Anyway, you can you can also go to this one and have the client history. So go to your client information. It's probably my internet. It's uh, then client history. Then you can check. So for example, she has four laser hair removal treatment, which she already did one, okay? So you can check the uh, service record always uh, here in the client history form. So that's that. Okay, anywhere. That's all I wanted to review today for you guys for how to use the shortcuts over here uh, for medical services for filling out the health history and post-treatment forms. Uh, and that's it. So wish you all uh, have a good day. Enjoy your time. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I hope that this... Uh, video help you and if you have any other question regarding to these steps you can always email me text me you have my whatsapp number so i'm always happy to help you out have a great one goodbye